Hello, class five. The next lesson in our textbook is the past continuous tense. The past continuous tense is chapter 15. It is on page 69. So if you want to follow, or you should follow because we will be discussing the exercises later on. So take out your books, look at page 69, chapter 15, the past continuous tense. If you find, if you turn the page over to page 70, you will find the use of the past continuous tense. The past continuous tense is used to express an action that was happening at a particular time in the past. So, I have written down a few examples here. The first example, the lazy dog was sleeping. Was sleeping is in the past continuous tense. This, these two verbs make up the past continuous tense. Was is the auxiliary or helping verb. And sleeping is the principal verb. Auxiliary verb, helping verb, principal verb. We always add an ing to our principal verb, okay, to make it into the past continuous tense. Next example, those girls were cleaning the room, the rooms. Here I have used were and cleaning. So were cleaning is the past continuous tense. Auxiliary or helping verb, principal or main verb. Again, an ing in the main verb. Was is used when the subject is singular. Okay? Were is used when the subject is plural. Then we change the sentences into the negative and the interrogative. Negative and interrogative just like in the simple past tense. So the lazy dog was sleeping. The negative will be the lazy dog was not sleeping. Okay. Those girls were cleaning the rooms. The negative will be, those girls were not cleaning the rooms. Then we have the interrogative. The lazy dog was sleeping. The interrogative is, was the lazy dog sleeping? You just use the same auxiliary verb. Okay. And the same principal verb. Those girls were cleaning the rooms. The interrogative is, were the girls cleaning the rooms? Here also we have used the same auxiliary verb and the same principal verb. Let us look at some more examples. The baby was crying the whole night. Was crying is the past continuous. This, <clears throat> these two verbs make it into the past continuous tense. Was because baby is singular and crying is the main or the principal verb with the ing. Okay. Now in this sentence... The baby was crying the whole night. We have used the verb to express something that happened during a period of time. The period of time here is the whole night. Okay, The whole night is the period of time that something happened. Next one. We were shopping at 
3 p.m. Here, this sentence is used to show an action <clears throat> that was going on at a time in the past. It went on at a time in the past at 3 p.m. Okay. This happened the whole night. Okay. During a period of time. This also something that happened in the past. So, these two sentences are one way of using the past continuous tense. Now, let's look at the next sentence. My friend was taking a bath when I phoned her. If you look at the sentence, was taking is in the past continuous tense. Okay? Was, because the subject is singular, and taking the principal verb with the ing. So, was taking is the past continuous tense. I phoned her. This is in another tense. Remember the tense we studied previously, the pa simple past tense. This is in the simple past tense. So, we have two tenses in one sentence. Past continuous tense and simple past tense. I hope you remember the simple past tense. Let's go back to what we learned last time. The sun shone brightly. They went away. He tried hard. So can you see the difference? Shone is the verb. Went is the verb. And tried is the verb in each sentence. These Verbs are in the second form or in the simple past form. So, this makes the simple past tense. Supposing the sentence were to be changed into the past continuous, you will say, The sun was shining brightly. So, can you see the difference? Past continuous tense, and it's one, the sun was shining brightly. They were going away. That is in the past continuous. He was trying hard. Past continuous. Okay. But now these sentences are in the simple past tense. So when you have two continuous, uh, two past tenses, tenses in one sentence, one is in the, supposing one is in the past continuous and one is in the simple past tense, you have to know how to use the two of them together, okay, in that sentence. So, we're going to discuss that. So, let's look again. My friend was taking, this is the past continuous tense, a bath when I phoned her. This is in the simple past tense. Now, how... When do we use such sentences? These sentences can be used when you are speaking about an action <clears throat> that was going on when another action interrupted it. Okay? Like, so, for example, my friend was taking a bath. She was doing this action when, when, okay, when another action happened. Simple past mantur. Alright? So this action was going on when it was interrupted by the phone. Do you understand? My friend was taking a bath when I phoned her. So past continuous, simple past. Tilti make laya til dang lo thang thut. Okay, let's look at the next sentence. We were working in the garden when it started to rain. We were working. This is what we were doing. We were continuing to do this in the past. So this is in the past continuous tense. tense. When something happened. What happened? Another action happened while we were doing this started to rain 
he mi kan ti lai me khian he hi along theng ani chu so past continuous simple past okay i hope you understand we were in the process of doing something we were working in the garden all right and while we were doing this something else happened during that process what happened started to rain so the uses of the past continuous tense are to express an action that was happening at a particular time in the past the action started before that moment and had not finished at that moment for example at 10 pm i was watching television okay i was watching it and it had not finished at that time they were playing football at 9 am this morning so at 9 am they were playing and the the, the the action of playing football had not yet finished next to indicate that a longer action in the past was interrupted by a shorter action i was watching television when he called was watching is in the past continuous called is in the simple past this action is the longer action and while this action was going on a shorter action happened this shorter action will be written in the simple past okay this is the simple past she was sleeping last night when the thief stole her car what was she doing what was the thing that was going on was sleeping amuhil me kani she was sleeping last night when the thief stole stole is the second a uh, simple past form this suddenly happened while this was going on so this is going on and this happened in between this was going on and this suddenly happened while this was going on okay so you have two tenses here past continuous simple past past continuous simple past and the third use is to ind- indicate that two actions were happening at the same time for example mother was making dinner while i was setting the table two things that were happening at the same time can also be expressed both in the past continuous tense tripti was studying while aisha was watching television so these two were happening again at the same time so the two tenses are the same okay it's ani ve ve lai ani awang in ahun ni na hun kha ain an awang in a tense point ang ta ni but in this instance something happened in the middle of something that was going on the action going on was watching this was suddenly interrupted by somebody else doing something else okay called amothil me kla e tv ke en me kla in min lo call okay i hope you understand this chapter and then we have exercises a b and c these exercises i will explain in an, another video all right